Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here with the 9 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. We're looking at the Dow futures down 97 points at 34,039. Not a big deal if you're looking at this little conglomeration of, of bars that we've seen for one, two, three, four, five, six, six sessions uh, above the pink nine period moving average. It still hasn't turned green. We're going to be watching this closely. To get to this leg C and not the 200 period moving average in this environment right now is quite admirable, but it's not really the big takeoff that says now you're going to go fly to the moon. I think this is just a bounce. I'm treating it as a bounce for subscribers to my opening call. Looking at the E mini, when you're looking at the E mini down 24 to 4376. It's just been sideways. Look at this 200 period moving average pops above it on the um, 9th of October. And ever since then, almost every single session has touched it, either used it as a, a propellant zone or a magnet zone. And then 4376, 40, I'll tell you right now, 4364 is that line. And you've got to hold that today. You're looking at the QQQ, I'll go to the futures in Q. The futures are down 126 to 15,162. And that implies that um, the night period moving average has been tagged and it's green. So that's going to be very important. Does it stay green or do we slide into the under 15,000? This is going to be tough uh, because by the end, by about quarter past two this afternoon, if the Dow is still down more than 60 or 70 points um, and the and the S&P is down, say, 16 and the the NASDAQ, the NQ, is down over 100, that's going to invite a very poor close. But if they improve, maybe we get a little bit better close today. RTY, which is the Russell 2000, not acting well. It's down almost 10 at 1746 in the futures. Now, this is going to be interesting because gold is holding well. It's up four and a half. It's in this little triangle you can see right here in the daily chart. The weekly chart still needs a lot of work to improve, but the daily is really good. And it says that the 1956 area is going to be a very strong resistance. That's been the line, the 200 period moving average that repelled it every single time it got there. If you're looking at, I didn't even do silver. I, I, no, I'll do silver right now. Silver's holding quite nicely, up five cents. Let's go to bonds real quickly. Bonds are down sharply. They're down one and a half points. That is terrible. That's because the retail numbers were quite strong. And crude oil is holding in there, down to seven cents. Um, I mean, uh, stay tuned. You've got uh, Tommy O'Brien coming up for Morning Market Kickoff. Should be a great show as always. And uh, great programming here at TFNM. Check out my opening call, Daily Music.